have sat in this cold, dark dungeon more days than I can count. These chains are almost unbearable. But I will endure and I will finish this miserable race because of the strength that I've been given. I fear that this letter to my brother Timothy may have been my last. At the same time, the thought of freedom from these chains so enticing. If I'm honest, the worst part is the loneliness. I long for conversation. I want to laugh and to cry with my friends and my family and my brothers. I need community. chains, they certainly do a great job of preventing human interaction and fellowship. I'm lucky if I get a grunt from the guard who brings me my daily portions. Community. When I am separated from it, I see how beautiful it truly is. I realized in my letters that so many of us, we put these chains on ourselves that prevent, pre prevent us from truly clinging to the joys of community. I've written of these chains to my, my friends in Ephesus, in Rome, in Corinth, in Philippi, Colossae, and Galatia. I would give to be with my friends from those communities now. Even in the midst of their struggles and their brokenness, to simply spend time with them. I long for community. I'm sure that my nostalgia comes through in my letters as I reflect. And I hope that my brothers and sisters can truly see the beauty, the gift that being involved with a loving, encouraging, uplifting community can be. I am hopeful for that kind of community.